yeah hello guys you are highly welcome to nobuti fashion channel on this video i'll be taking you through the easiest process easiest method on how to sew this shirt from a to z if you are returning you are welcome back to the channel if this is the first time you are checking on this channel i welcome you to the nobu family so this is the channel that brings you the easiest fastest and the simplest method on how to achieve anything especially on a men's dress so now please this shirt is the most trending uh, shirt in the town now so i advise you to watch to the end so that i won't miss any part of it without any further delay let's get started so now the first thing to do is to lay the material like this and if you don't know how we cut this shirt you can check the link in the description uh, box below and i will also put the link at the end of this uh, video so please make sure you watch to the to the end so now after you have folded the material like this then you notch the center and then you remove the office pin we use to hold it then you separate both side so now this side now will be the side for the button hole and that is the side we will apply our material state then um, the other side will be for the button uh, stand so now this is the sleeve i've applied a stay on the sleeve so that it will make the m of the sleeve to be very strong so do this on the both side and you, uh, you can use iron to bend it use iron to fold it like half inch then you press it do the same thing on the on the other side as well i've also gone the other side with a st i place it on the center then you fold it like this also that is it so now the next thing to do now is to apply the stay on the on the other side which is, will be for the button or stand so this will be for the button stand this is the button side where the button will be so you don't need to apply anything on this one but on this one i will apply the material stay on this uh, left side so that is for the male shorts but if you are sewing a female shirt the button hole stand will be on the right side while the button stand will be on the left side so cut it two inches and you apply it at the edge of that uh, place with notch and you press it straight down like this so please take note of that if you are sewing a female shirt the button stand will be on the right side the button hole stand will be on the right side while for the male the button hole stand will be on the left side like this so now that is it on the table for now so the next thing to do let's proceed to the sewing machine and so now the first thing you have to do, stitch here is the sleeve so you stitch the sleeve the both sleeve make sure that your stitches is at the tip of the of the folding so that is part of the thing that make your work to look very neat and uh, professional and make sure that it's, the stitches is not a gathers is not gathers make sure that the stitches is very tiny do not that too tiny so that in case there is any mistake you'll be able to lose it easily without tearing the material so you cut this and stay the stitches so that is that then the next thing to do now is to join the back with the front so is to join the back with the front and also place the back slit on it or the back cape any how uh, you know it as so this is the back now place the back down and make the 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 back of it to be facing the front where you place the front on it then separate this uh, facing separate the facing and you place the front on it like this then the next thing to do now is to place the is to place the back on it 
and place the back on it. This is the face. Why is the back? So you turn it to the back and you place it on it like this. Make sure that that place that edge is a uh, is right, and don't draw any parts. Don't draw any parts, and make sure that the damp part is not the squeeze as well. So the next thing to do now is to do this on the other side as well. So that is it. So now this is the back. This is the face of the back. Place the back down. That is the back hip. That is the back hip. The back uh, back slit. Then you place the front on it. The, you make the front face to face the back face. Then you place the back face on it. Make that let the back to be showing uh, outside the at the upper part, as in the facing of the back to be showing as the upper part like this so just arrange it like this so now after that the next thing to do is to top stitch the material is to touch this the back cape so first stitch the the front parts so and make sure that the stitches here is very tiny don't make your stitches to be like a one quarter so stitch the tip of the of the stitches that is of the joining so then you so run the neck like this make sure that you under the material properly well because this is a stretch stretch material so sometimes it can be it can be somehow dazzling when you are sewing it so make sure that you stitch across the tip of that uh, joining and make sure that the stitches is a straight make sure that the stitches is a straight then when you get here as well you fold the back inward and you stitch the tip also here and make sure that the damp part is laid properly well make sure that the damp part is properly laid and use your hand to hold the material please don't leave your hand without using it to hold the material even from at the both on both front and the back you can see that i'm not leaving my hand at the back as also as in i'm not leaving my hand without using it to hold the back so this will make your work to relax without having much uh, squeeze because this is a stretch material so now after we do this the next thing is to fix the sleeve on the on the back so now the first thing to do is to bend the sleeve inward that is the arm o on the sleeve is to bend it inward like this very tiny and stitch the tip stitch the tip so this may be a little bit difficult because of the nature of this material but try to take your time to stitch it so i will give you another method on how you can do this as well so you can uh, this is the face now you can turn it to the face because this can do it on the face you can see that the back the first one that i did i placed the back the back is showing outside why i turn the, the the stitches i turn the material inward but here the material is facing front why i turn the material outside so you can use any two method here to achieve this so now the next thing to do is to fix it on the material this on the bodies so now you place the arm all down and check the the notch cross check the material cross check the sleeve whether it fits in to the arm o or not check the sleeve arm o whether it fits into the arm o or not so to get the center of here now you don't need to notch it can i just use chalk to mark the center 
don't need to notch the the sleeve just chuck the center of that arm hole after you chuck it like this then you cross check it place the arm off from that place and you check it through whether it's equal or not you can see that this is equal but if it is not equal you can just trim the arm hole a bit and just trim the arm or a little bit on the bodies no don't trim the arm don't trim the sleeve so that the, the sleeve will not the arm or will not tight so just stitch it through like this let the sleeve cover the shirt let it cover the shirt a little bit that is the shirt arm or the body's arm or let the sleeve arm or cover it a bit you can see that you are not seeing the tip of this uh, of the body's uh, arm hole so what you need to do is to use the sleeve to cover it now you can see that it's not equal you can see that it's not equal so just use the sleeve to cover the arm hole so this is the reason why i normally advise that you should not skip any part of the illustration so that there are some tips that i normally give which i believe it will appeal at the long run during the course of the training that i normally give so which i believe it will appeal like this one now you can see the way i stitch the sleeve you can see the way i stitch the sleeve so with this the sleeve will not bog here to not fold here to be very late and to give you a perfect uh, result so do the same thing on the other sleeve as well do the same thing on the other sleeve as well so I've stitched it through like this so that is it I don't want this video to be too long so that is why I'm cutting it out a bit and just stitch it all through like that. After you do that, the next thing to do now is to stitch the side. That is it. You can see that it's laid. It's not that boggy here. It's not that boggy here. It's laid properly well. So that is how to stitch the sleeve to the bodies of a shirt. So now, the next thing to do now is to stitch the side shift it a bit and use the other one to cover it and when you are stitching here you are stitching the tip of this uh, material make sure that both it's equal on that armhole level stitch the tip of the material use your hand to set it very well and hold the material properly well Make sure you undo it well. And then make sure you set the down. Make sure that the material is equal as the down parts. So make sure that the material is equal here. So that you will have set it from the up there. So before you get to the down parts. So then you fold it on it again like this. So this will give you double stitches. Like you normally see on the red made shirts. And it will make this place to be laid properly well. So if there's a the the material, if the tip is not that very neat, make sure you are, you are pulling all the threads. Make sure you are pulling it inside. Make sure you are pulling it inside. So you can see that's how to stitch the side of a shirt to so have a double folding on the side. That is how to stitch side of shirts. And you will have a double folding on this side and it will make the side to lay properly well without having a bogging on that side so i want to give a shout out to some of my subscribers and today's shout out goes to joy oyeri sola and the uh, god's god's time simon so very big thanks to you there guys i really appreciate your support thanks for the comment and thanks for the like you can as well be the next person that will get my shout outs all you need to do is to click on the subscribe button and then you can help me drop your comments 
and give this video a like yes let me give this video a like you are in a little you are in on your way helping others as well in discovering this uh, video because you will, too, will be able to show this video to a lot of people and indirectly you are as well helping other so please don't be stingy with that uh, <laughs> your click on the subscribe button so let me click the subscribe button and then uh, you click on the like button as well so that people youtube will be able to show the video to a lot of people so now if you are in the, the trade court make sure that if you want to reverse don't make your reverse to if you want to reinforce the the trade don't make it to be too long so that it will not give you another stitches on the side as is the side the stitches on the side will be very neat if the thread cuts you want to reverse don't make the reverse to be too long you can just stitch it tiny very stitch every little stitches on the side to reinforce the the thread and stitch it all through like this the same way we did the the first one stitch it all through like this so after we do this the next thing we have to do is to fold the hem of the of the shirt after we fold the hem of the shirt then we proceed to the collar and then we do the finishing so please if you watch through to this uh, up to this level you really i hope you really enjoy the the video so now after we have uh, done this you will see that the side will lay properly well without having any much bugging on the side so now what we need to do now is to fold the damp part so just take the damp part as well like this you are stitching like half inch very mean quarter inch quarter very as much as tiny as you can make it to be so that is how that should be so just fold it like this and make sure you hold the material very well because this is a stretch material and you know how vintage material normally is so if you did not hold the material properly well this place will not need so make sure you stitch it properly well like this and there is a footer in which you can as well use to fold the hem and that will make this to be very easy but i don't have access to that footer now so that is why i'm using this uh, normal footer to do this so make sure you stitch it all through like this Take your time to do this please don't rush because it may be a little bit difficult to be able to achieve uh, this uh, side you can see that the side is not a straight side so make sure you take your time to do this so that you have a very neat aim of the shirt you can see how can see that it's a little bit difficult not that easy so, but take your time pull it material to it and use hand to hold it at the back make sure you hold the material you handle the material well and you follow all the all the shape yes make sure you follow the shape so take your time to do this the result is a worthwhile at the end you see that you have a perfect aim so place the facing on it like this as well when you're about to get to the tip here you can see that it needs to be handled properly well So please if you derive any value in this video let me drop your comments so i would like you to see your comments what have you been able to achieve uh, with uh, any of the illustration we have been doing in this uh, on this uh, channel and if you have anything to for to for me to talk about you can as well drop the comment on that so thank you so now let's move on so this is it and that is the result so the next thing to do now 
is to fix the camp collar on the on the shirt so let's proceed to the to the table to do the gumming of that so yeah guys so now the measurement the neck measurement we are using for this is a 15.5 so 15.5 just take the two front side together and you lay it like this and just lay it like this join the two together with the folding with the front folding inside lay it together like this and a notch 1.5 notch 1.5 notch 1.5 with half inch just notch it with half inch that's a 1.5 then you reconfirm the remaining you have so this place now is supposed to have like a 7.7 7 or 7.6 so but this is not up to that so i will have to retrim the neck i will have to retrim the neck so that it will be up to what I want. So just lay it like this. Lay it like this. And let me reconfirm it from this point of notching to the other extreme now. You can see that what I have here is a 14 inches. So that I am supposed to have like a 15.5. So I will need to retrim it just retrim it round i advise you to stick to the end of the video so that you do not miss any any part of it so there are some tips that will also guide you in achieving the best results in this uh, video so now what i will have left now is a 15.5 so and that is that is okay so now the next thing to do is to notch the the back center the center just take the two fronts together and then you notch it so now let's cut the the part the neck the collar itself so the best thing or steve to use for this is uh, the lightest uh, collar stay the lightest collar stay which we use for the button stand so that is the best color to use so now 15.5 then you divide it by two so you divide it by two like this then you just divide it like two like this then whatever you have that's a 7.7 7 thereabouts so after you have folded the colors into two just mark it like that and measure one inch upward to the, at that point measure one inch upward at that point then you roll it straight roll it straight like this so now let me confirm so you can see it that's a 7.7 .7. so let me use a office pin to hold it so that it will not be shifting So now the next thing to do now is to divide what we have here into two is to divide it into two divide the whole this thing again into two and mark that point then you connect the two line with the one inch we first measure upward just connect the two line the two points rather so and mark from that point upward that's a 1.5 1.5 upward then whatever you have as the length there measure it straight that's a 2.5 so that's a 2.5 so hope you understand that so from down part to the upward so it will be straight so one inch plus 1.5 that's a 2.5 so that is what we you will measure at the end of the other side so then you shape it you trim it out like this and voila 
that is it that is a pattern for this uh, neck so now i just want to confirm that so now the next thing to do is to apply this uh, stay on the on the material so take the remaining pieces so if you are if you don't know how we cut this uh, shirt i will leave the link in the description uh, box below so do where to check it out that is how to cut uh, the camp color shirt it's very easy and then uh, straightforward so i advise you to check out the video so that you will understand how we how we cut the neck and if you are just checking out the channel for the first time i advise you to click on the subscribe button so that you will you will not miss any part of the, the video whenever i drop an amazing video like this again you will be you will be notified so i advise you please let me hit the like button let me hit the like button so that youtube will be able to show this video to a lot of people and we are swelling you are as well helping others to to derive value in this uh, video by clicking the like button so now just bend it like this iron is out like this and that is all so the next thing to do now is to proceed to the sewing properly and just trim the edge so that what we have left will be like half inch will be like half inch so now the next thing to do now is to proceed to the machine so now let's go there so now after you have a iron it out like this you have applied the steel like this so the first thing to do is to stitch the collar you can use surface paint to hold it due to the texture of the material that i'm using so that it will not be shifting so that is why i'm using office paint to hold it stitch it round and whenever you are stitching the collar don't stitch it too close don't stitch it too close to the to the collar stay leave a little space there so that the back side will not be reflecting outside will not be reflecting in the front that is the back side of the material will not be reflecting in the front if you have been following my channel you will have understand what i mean better but just make sure that you did not so stitch too close to the to the color stay so now let's kind of sweat trim this a bit to make it rhyme so now let's remove the stay the office pin and turn it notch here On the other side as well then now you stitch on the on the edge stitch is very tiny the edge stick the edge around or through and make sure you bend the back side you bend it inward so that we will not be reflecting the on the front the back side make sure you bend it inward so it will not be reflecting in the front so this part of the thing that will make your work to be very very neat and look more professional so now that is all so the next thing to do now is to notch the center so you join the two sides together you can see that so just join the two sides together join it together like this then you notch the center so now 
you have to fix it to the to the material so just take the front the front side this is the front side now then you turn it you turn the back on it like this and stitch it with half inch stitch it with half inch so at that uh, point of a notching now place the color just place the color there you can see the front where they apply the stay that is where i'm putting on the front that is where it's sh showing uh, outside so just place it at that point where you notch and stitch it all through you can reinforce it at that point in two straight so when you get to the to this edge now where the facing ended you just need to notch that place that this place now just notch it with like half inch and you only for turn the turn the front you open the front and make sure that the notching on the collar is match with the not notching on the material so when you get there you just stop and start from the other side so that the collar will be equal so you turn this place inward like this as well then you stitch it with half inch So now place the collar at that uh, notching again. Place it on that notching again. Stitch it all through. And when you get to this point where the facing ended here, you notch both collar again notch the collar as again with half inch then after you notch the two then you open the first one where the collar is you open this one like this you don't stitch on this turn it inside you won't stitch on this you stitch this one later so this is that front side it is that is what we use to fold all the material inside so just turn it outside like that turn it outside so now this is this is it so that's notching now where the facing ended you still need to re-notch it again you re-notch it like this so that we'll be able to pull everything inside and this will make your work to be very neat so open it very well so you, this place as well you notch it again you notch the main material also and you pull it inside you pull it inside you can see in the first previous uh, video that i did on the camp color you can see that the material the facing of that material is not that very wide so but this one is very wide and it will give us the perfect uh, results so just stitch it all through like that with half in with very close stitch it all through and make sure you put this place inward very well make sure you pull it inside stitch on the material like this use it to cover it please if you derive any value in this video let me hit the like button let me hit the like button and if you are just coming across this channel for the first time please let me click on the subscribe button so that you will be seeing more amazing video like this again whenever i drop it so just stitch it all through like this 
and that is all. Voila. We are true. That is all. So knowing how to sew this type of color will make your work to be stand out. So you make your work to stand out. And this is a trending uh, color now. So now let's see the results on the table. So this is how to iron it now. Just lay it like this. You first re-iron it from the back. Re-iron it from the back. After you do that, you turn it way around. Re-iron this place as well to make your work to be very neat. So now, next thing to do is to hold this two side, the two extreme. Turn it inward like this. Turn it inward. Then you apply iron. Make sure that the iron is very hot. And if you are not using steam iron, you can just apply a little water on it so that the ghetto will be very lay and it will relax. The material will be very lay and the ghetto will come out and the color will be well relaxed. So just iron it like this. So now let's see the result properly. This is how it is. That is it. That's it. So please, for more amazing video like this again, let me hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that whenever I drop an amazing video like this again, you will be notified. So thank you for watching and remain blessed till I bring you another amazing video. Bye.